friends welcome to my channel so you know me I'm Angad uh, so in my previous video you learned how to create a simple REST API that was just a template a skeleton kind of uh, stuff so today what we are gonna do we will be learning how to create a simple REST API by connecting to a database so we'll be like trying to do some crude operations create update delete and retrieve the record so we'll see how we'll be doing step by step so if you haven't watched my previous video how to create a skeleton kind of like a simple rest api uh, just for mocking up the data you can go back to my previous channel previous link what i have given in the description watch the video comment it out if you like my video uh, share the videos you can subscribe to my channel i'll be like posting more uh, technical stuff like this um, kind of like react like how to create a sample web page so just an application how we'll be like creating so i'll be like teaching all those stuff so if you like my video please comment subscribe and like my channel and share with your friends who are like a programmers so uh, keep on commenting on my channel so that i can uh, rectify my rectify my mistakes what i'm doing if you don't like anything just comment it out i'll try to like improve those areas so uh, without wasting your time let's start our video how to like create a simple rest api by connecting to a database and i'll be using a postgres as a database and i'll be giving all those links and documentations how to install how to connect to your database what id i'm using uh, what kind of a postman and what versions i'm using what kind of a notepad i'll be like using so i'll be like posting all those uh, descriptions in uh, links and descriptions in my uh, like in my description area so watch out for the description okay uh, <clears throat> let's start with our uh, development so we know like uh, when we need to create a like rest api we need some uh, repository we need a service class we need implementations we need uh, the domain or we call a pojo plain java old object so let's uh, uh, start with our like uh, plain java old object so you know this uh, like the previous uh, website like a rest api what i created this is our application class this was our customer controller so let's start to like see whether this class is up and running or not okay so i see no profile active okay application started okay let's uh, jump on the development now so we'll be creating a domain uh, package uh, domain and this is for a customer so we'll be like creating a customer domain new java class customer okay so when we say uh, this is a domain so let's start to like have a table name on this one so this will be like entity so entity is not found so no worries like we'll be trying to like search the maven dependency okay persistent java x persistent we'll be adding this one jacarda persistent api okay let's add maven animation not required not required okay let's see okay there you go so when we say this is the domain we need a table name for this one so uh, the tables will be generated automatically so table name name customer okay so now let's create the variables like data variables what we'll be having private long id private string string first name okay let's copy uh, don't waste the time okay keep on posting your questions if you have anything so this will be my last name last name this will be email address email address this will be my address okay so let's create a getter setter for this one generate get a setter control all okay now when i say uh, this is my domain so i need all the column names what column name will be there so let's have an id on top this is my id so let's have other generated so we need my id to be a dynamic value instead of like uh, I, like incremental value it shouldn't be like hard coded so i am doing by this way okay identity this will be like creating an incremental id for you so first name at that column 
name so this is my like first name okay let's copy this one entire and post on last name so this is my last name change the column name last name then email address change to email okay and this is like an address okay you can pass this column name here also but this is a good way to do it and then i'll be like going for a two string public string to string i'll be overriding the two string method okay add that override mm -hmm. now so uh, when i say return return into string so what uh, data i'm writing customer colon then id so i'll be like implementing id here then i'll be like setting first name first name let me have in underscore format first name let's have equal let's have equal to here first name first name then last name let's give some space last name last name carded then i have email address uh, so space email so why do we need this one so sometimes what happen you want to do uh, you want to see something you want to print on your uh, like console you can use this two string variable so right now I'm, I'm having one more content to add that is address so let's add that to space address okay address got added okay now closing return okay everything is written over there so i'll be like bring all this on new line for readability so now this is so whenever you want to pass you have to uh, like pass each and every value so it's good habit is like to have a constructor public uh, customer so this is my customer so i'll be like going i'll be copying this quickly i'm creating a parameterized constructor over here copy paste don't keep on writing each and everything because this is not any logical stuff okay this dot first name equals to first name okay so copy this to this is really fast okay last name last name last name so in this way your development will be really fast make sure typing each and everything just go for some shorthand keys okay so this is like parameterized but parameterized won't be helpful each and every time so we'll be like to create a empty constructor also public customer this will be like empty customer okay our customer got created now let's start to like create a repository so new uh, package repository so in package we'll be like creating a new class so when we say repository so we'll be saying this will be a customer repository customer repository this repository 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 so when i say customer repository repository will be used to fetch data from database and this will be an interface okay so interface so we'll be like extending so we'll be implementing implement imple ple implements jpa jpa repo sito ry okay jpa repository because jpa is been provided by the uh, spring boot so this is really a 
helpful uh, kind of readily available all the methods so we'll be like we're going with the JPA repository let's go to like maven reimport all the jars let's go to repository and add this one so when I say this repository is okay we should extend it okay when I say this repository uh, is a customer repository so we have to gentrify to customer and provide long because whenever we search we search with IDs okay so now this is a repository we have to annotate with a repository where uh, annotation this is cool so now let's create a service new package service CRVIC service package is getting created so service is a package where all our uh, manipulations will be going so when we say service so this is customer service so this is an interface okay so interface doesn't have a body it just have uh, method signature so we'll say we'll say customer this will be a like first customer uh, method signature save where we'll be like trying to like save customer okay then when I say this is service class so I should be annotating with some good annotation that is called service okay when I say interface service so this need to be implemented somewhere okay so let's create a new implementation uh, class for this one customer service or IMPL so this is the class okay cancel so now when I say services and interface and this is class so I should be implementing so this is implement customer service okay now it will say we have to implement the methods okay so now here uh, we are getting some errors so it's saying like implement methods so we will be like implementing the method from customer service so method is implemented now but this is like returning null so we don't have anything to do over here so now when I say like customer service IMPL so this class is mainly responsible for doing uh, extra hard work or kind of like implementations manipulations assembling the data uh, like doing all those logical stuff will be doing into implementation we don't do anything in our repository we repository is just used for fetching the data from the database we pass on that data to implementation class uh, service implementation it will do the manipulations assembling and that data will be passed to controller that controller will be uh, giving that data back to uh, your UI code that is kind of in the form of like a JSON or anything neither we do any uh, logical implementation in a controller neither in a repository we do in implementation classes to keep it clean and simple okay so we'll be like importing uh, our customer repository private customer repository okay so when we import in this way and we auto add the uh, like this is a field injection if you do a field injection also it's not a problem but uh, this is not a recommended way so what we can do will be like going with a constructor injection constructor injection is how we are defining public customer customer service IMPL so this is my constructor I'll be like passing customer repository okay okay now this dot customer repository equals to customer repository because what happens whenever uh, this class is getting loaded it will be like searching for a repository customer repository and customer repository is found and with the help of this injection is like successful and uh, required dependencies are getting injected properly and this is a recommended way if you search on Google so now let's use a customer repository so let's see like what all methods customer repository have it has it has the same method so what is trying to say entity so we are passing our entity to customer repository okay so now this is also like done so now let's try to call customer uh, like service IMPL save in a controller let's create a new method so when we say save this is always a post calling so like save customer okay let's create public uh, I'll be like copying do you want I'll be copying each and everything like here like this but just like customer control Z 
customer customer save customer and you can remove like say we can keep a simple a uh, name naming convention so right now we don't we haven't imported a uh, uh, auto wire our service uh, MPL services so let's auto wire auto wire uh, we need to auto wire here private customer service customer services and interface will be like auto wiring our interface not the implementation so customer service start save so we'll be like getting customer here uh, at the request body request body is used to uh, get the request from uh, HTTP so just like customer customer and if you want to have a valid we can have like at the rate validated over here so it will make sure like each and every object is been passed it will be like passing on the data over here okay so if you see this like it's asking for return statement so let's copy this one return so but basically what it's asking uh, return type of customer okay so i'll be like making as a result okay result what if my data is like if it is not saving so we'll do some check result equal equals to null okay if result is null then what will happen i'll say null bad get bad request okay, bad request if everything is smooth this will be like getting called okay now let's try to like validate do we have each and everything in place save save has been called so this save this save has been called okay so everything is being called properly and if you see the controller if everything is success we'll be getting a result a new customer has been saved in an output okay but what happened we don't have a configuration like configuration for our database okay uh, so now uh, everything is done is setup is done so we need a database connectivity so we'll be going into a property files I'm having readily uh, my my connection properties are I'm having uh, in my notepad I've copied from there so this uh, this is my like data source URL what I'm using I'm using a Postgres SQL database this is my local host this is my port so generally it runs on different port 5432 uh, something was running on my 5432 so I have to change the port and this is my database Postgres my username is Postgres password what I've kept is admin and the JPS show SQL is true so what will happen whatever query you'll be executing you'll be seeing the executed SQL statement in console.log I'll be showing that to you I'll be showing that to you then uh, these are the hibernate properties so what all hibernate properties are uh, like dialects this is a postgres dialect so we have multiple dialects or uh, oracle dialects we have we have mysql we have sql yo we have sql server those dialects we can add over here and this is like what does this do this creates or update your database so if table is not present with the help of update your table will be uh, created okay so now let's see uh, let's try to like run our application and see whether everything's fine or not let's do and see what is happening so okay yeah application started let's see whether our database is created or not so i'm having a dbver as uh two let's see let's start from customer do we have okay so data database got created table got created i'm having some uh, random table with me so let's uh, refresh okay customer got created so what all I'm, I'm having what all columns id this is a big serial address email address first name last name okay so now what can i do i can start saving my data now so my customer controller is here where is my customer controller okay so i'm having a method called save if record is saved i'll be getting that record back with a uh, id so let's jump on that and open a postman and try to execute our new request okay 
So my port is like HTTP colon uh, local local host colon eighty eighty slash REST API. Save customer to have. Okay. So let me remove. I'm having a new method save, but I need a body. Okay. To save a data, I need a body, and body should be in JSON format. So I'm having first name. It should be exactly same what uh, domain name you have created. So let's see what domain objects I'm having. It's a first name, last name, address, email address. So we don't pass an ID. First name is uh, test. Okay, one. And last name. Test one one okay then email address okay email address is nothing but four dot column test one at the gmail.com so there is no validation right now i haven't added any validation that will be coming from ui those validations but for time being we are creating a sample uh, so where do i leave moline okay so I have uh, I've created like the objects what need to be saved. Let's uh, put a debug point. Uh, my server is in a debug mode, so I can put a like debug over here. Can enable the debug point. Remove all the console logs. Hit your okay. This is a post. Okay, so get is not allowed. So if you hit a post, okay, I got the control over here. So let's see. So first name is test one, last name is test one one, email address okay, everything is there. So now let's put a debug point over here. Like what does it do? Let's resume. Okay, I got the result basically. Yep, record saved. Uh, okay, let it go. Okay, and see. Okay, let's see. Uh, do we have this data in database or not? Okay. This is a query, so it will be execute query. Okay, I see a record got saved in the database. Let's go with the second record. Two, two. And this also lives in Moline. Let's see whether this record is getting saved or not. Okay, I'm had, having another ID, ID two. Let's try with three. I'm like creating some some uh, different record. This will be this is living in Iowa okay okay so you can see the output outputs here this output we can directly pass to uh, your ui code and they can use it okay so let's query it i am having all the three records so first name is test one test two test three last name is all there everything is there okay so what what i can say from here our save is success so we'll be going to another uh, method called uh, find so save is done so let's start like go and find out uh, the data okay so i'll be creating another method uh body here so that will find customer find okay find customer by id okay let's go by id i won't go i don't want to go with the name right now so you can give a try if you're doing it at your home if you're referring this one you can try it out so implement method okay so see the cool stuff here so jpa repository already have something get by id or find by id okay so i already have id here okay but this says like it will be only returning an optional okay so what i'll i'll do i'll try to like get the data here yeah okay optional optional of customer okay result rs ult result okay now what if i'll check if result is present or not. if result is present then return 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 what i should be returning result dot get okay else null 
Optional.empty or else new customer or null. You can directly say status so and null. I'm saying something. Okay, this or this. Okay, so now let's try to like let's see each and everything is in place. Find customer. Okay, let's call in customer controller. Create a new method where we'll be trying to find find customer okay so now will be like we don't need this entire body okay so we need path variables okay we need something called path path variable uh, it should be if you have seen on top we have passed the path variables back so we need but why we need a path variables no it's not required just an id right so it will be id pass on the id so we need customer service have find customer by id okay so we'll be having that id over here mm, long id okay we'll be having that id id so you can have add that path variable path variable i needed that one path variable ID okay then if result is the result or bad request okay now we can uh, run our app stop the server and start again okay we can see what will be getting path variable yep just right it's starting it's starting okay so it started let's go to a postman create a new request okay http colon localhost host colon 8080 slash rest api find customer by id okay give id as one okay so is this method right method name on is find customer copy paste okay it should be localhost rest api method not oh okay this is a post mapping copy paste error again stop start your server okay so your server started now so let's hit again so this is a get method there you go you know uh, getting a customer so let's uh, like customer with record one test one test one one this was the record for id one let's see for two there you go two you are fetching two let's see are you able to fetch three there you go cool so you are able to fetch all the three records so what i can say so, so we have seen uh, how to find the customer and we are able to find all the three customer records what we have saved so now let's try to update the customer okay let's try to update the customer so for update it's not a normal call it's a post call or you can say a patch put call so we'll be like going with uh, instead of confusing you i'll be like going with a post call with update customer call name okay oh, control z public uh, if i if i update i need to see the result whether customer is updated or not so i'll be going with a method name customer update customer okay i, I need the request body okay so i need the request body for that one so it will be like customer customer okay so now it will be like same as this one but the only difference is like uh, when i don't i want to send as a response entity customer okay it should be response entity customer so let me explain what i'm doing over here so this update customer it's accepting a request body of customer the only difference between save and update is that 
when you save you don't pass an id when you update you need to pass an id because what it will do uh, spring data jpa it will try to find whether that record exists in database or not if that record exists in database so what it will do it will find the data uh, from the database and it will update that particular record it will it, it won't go to a different record and uh, it, it won't record insert a new record let me show you so update customer but i need a method but it's not required so let's uh, stop the server and start it okay this got started so let's go back to our postman so here if you say here find customer number three we have okay these records are there with the test three test three three if i go to uh, record second i have test two test two test two two that's the last name email address if i want to go on customer first the test one test one one okay so now let's update so for update i said like we need an id okay because id is at most important to figure out what record we need to update so i'll be like going on uh, record of one and i'll be like saying okay my name is now one 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 okay so my last name is same okay i can remove these things these things if i don't want to update not required okay control c control c let's do one thing i don't want to update my first name and last name okay i said like i changed my state i went to like chicago okay let's see what does it do okay it update null 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 because what i said i need to pass each and entire record it's not a put call okay it's not a put call or a patch call it's like entire record we need to pass on so what we'll do let's try to like go back again i will say my name is like three 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 no not three three four 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 last name is only four four okay and i'm going to like city chicago okay let's try to like update now there you see for record one my first name is like test four four last name is test four four email address is test three okay let me pass change my uh, email address also okay there you go test four four and address let's see in database what record do we have okay so record one id one is moved to chicago with first email address as test 44 same as first name and last name is 44 there you see your record got updated now let's try to get a uh, entire uh, like customer list so getting the entire customer list really simple copy this method i will show you what difference uh, will be like having okay so let's go to here this find by customer id now we need to have a list of customer list of customer okay because this is a list right so find customer find customer by id not by custom by customer list it should be list okay so we'll be going to implementation class we'll be implementing it okay find customer list so let's return customer repository dot so it will be find all okay if you want to like sort it you can say like uh, sort by ascending or descending you can so or sort dot ascending descending you can do it but i won't i don't want to sort anything i'll be like finding all the list of the customer what i'm having right now with me okay so this is in place this has been used this is not showing the reference this is not showing the reference so find customer list is here okay so now i'm having find customer list okay so i don't want to pass any id this is a get mapping call find customer list a new method name there shouldn't be any method parameter for that okay remove this one okay so what's asking here yeah. ah. back we should be find find customer list 
okay so it's saying like no it need a list okay so i said like uh, i need a list of record and but i'm providing uh, just a normal object so i'll be like making as a list of a response entity okay i don't need these things straight away i'll return control z okay hold on hold on hold on i can pass this response over here okay there you go formatted the code okay everything looks fine let's build it up now i will get all the records from the database for customer table okay started application okay let's go over here uh, this is post call this is get call so find customer list that's the name yes and customer list and see how many records do we get wow cool we got all the three records test 2 test 3 test 4 4 so this is sorted by first name we got all the records so we can say we fetched all the records so now one method is add, uh, pending so we did create we did update we did find retrieve that is our retrieve now delete is pending so let's delete a record so deleting a record will go here will say void because it doesn't uh, return anything delete okay long id it will be deleting by id mm -hmm. so this impl it says implement that method name okay so customer repository will do the charm it is having a method name delete okay delete by id sorry delete by id okay pass that id to there okay it doesn't return anything so we won't be bothered about that now we have to create a new method for deleting so we'll be like going with delete call delete mapping delete by id so i'll be like passing the id here id public void i'll be passing like response entity string here i won't be writing okay delete customer other because i am passing id as a parameter so path variable long id okay so i should be running something like that got deleted okay so customer got deleted d l t d okay so what customer record got deleted id okay let me call customer service dot delete i'm like passing that id cool so this id is been written over here then connected with repository okay so things in place so let's query our database let's see i'm having three records start our uh, server and see okay server started let's go to our postman so this is a delete request so we'll be like going localhost okay so rest api it's not an api rest api rest api not 8080 it's not 8080 it's 8080 rest, okay so i already have this one okay we'll be deleting record one customer record deleted one let's see do we have okay so we see here like uh, record one got deleted let's go to a database and see whether that record exists or not so i see like we have a record one two and three let's query it okay record one got deleted now let's go back to our postman and try for record two okay query record two got deleted 
okay let's execute the query record two got deleted let's go for record three send record three got deleted okay no, no records in the database now okay so let's start like retrieve the list i think so we'll be getting null okay status uh, response 200 empty list okay i think so uh, we have created the data now here uh, sorry data got deleted each and every record got deleted and what we have seen we have created a rest api with save record find a particular record update a particular record find entire uh, record from the database for a particular table and delete any particular record okay so we performed our crude operations so i can say like here crud crude operation operation done create done uh, retrieve done update done and delete done i think so you have seen what i have done over here and i'll be checking this code into my github repository which is publicly available you can go and you can download my code if you find any difficulty in connecting you can comment on my uh, video i'll be like helping you out and don't forget to see the uh, pom.xml because this is like really an important uh, steps uh, to import all the libraries if you don't find the library just go to maven click on reload all the maven apis and that's how your uh, api will be getting loaded i think so you will be like now good uh, to create a simple rest api uh, by connecting to the database so in our next chapter what we'll be doing will be like connecting uh, our backend this is called a backend rest api will be connecting a rest, rest api with our ui code so we'll be like trying to like integrate a ui and a backend code together and we'll be retrieving uh the calls what we are hitting from postman will be executing uh these apis from a ui call and we'll be like pulling on a browser will be uh, playing the data playing with the data over there so keep on uh, looking for my new video i'll be like posting soon in a day or two day i'll be uh, 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 putting another video posting another video with ui code let me know uh, if you like the video if you like the video please subscribe comment and share amongst your friend thank you thank you for now watching my video